with the marketing department. So what I want to talk about today is internet harassment. That if a person is being harassed by someone on the internet and they block or ban or mute them, that they're censoring that person's ideas and they're being closed-minded and closing off other people's opposing views. And I know that this is a criticism that a lot of anti-feminists have because it's a criticism that I receive a lot. As a person who talks about racism and sex, and this isn't just like one or two, this is, these are comments, insulting, awful, like sexist comments that I'm receiving every single day. So I'm just getting multitudes of comments calling me a bitch and a cunt and telling me to kill myself. And for my own personal like mental health and well-being, I'll delete those comments because I don't, I don't know a single person that you know, that's gonna be great for their own mental health. Like, no one wants to see that shit. And I don't think it's positive, and I don't think it's logical, and I don't think it really contributes anything to the discussion. And I do have one from people being like, oh, typical feminist can't handle dissenting opinions, like, way to censor other people's ideas, which is a little ridiculous. You are hiding other people's views on the matter, so you're not giving your viewers a nuanced view. So it is a form of censorship because A, my bad, B, it's not really censorship when you can go literally anywhere else on the internet and share your opinions. Which by the way, there is misogyny everywhere. And women are getting harassed every single fucking day simply for existing on the internet. bunch of unsourced claims on the internet, so I just gotta say, CITATION NEEDED! Do you have any evidence to back up any of that shit that you've just been saying, or are you just spouting a bunch of pseudo-political bullshit, positing your subjective opinion as if it's objective fact, and using a bunch of hearsay and rumour to try and lend some credibility to your flimsy position? Maybe I'll do some legwork for you, but let's try and see if we can actually find anything to support your position. Oh look, there's no citations or evidence over here. I wonder if there's any hiding over here. Oh no, wait, look, there isn't. It's almost like you're talking complete shit. My sources are below. Get wrecked, scrub. But I think the fight literally no one is coming out of that argument with like a more open mind or a new life perspective. That's just not how you have a productive conversation and not how anyone's mind gets changed. So why do politicians have debates? You know they are not trying to convince each other, they are trying to convince the public. There's also kind of this idea that, you know, if you're a woman on the internet who shares her opinions and speaks her mind, that you're obligated to listen to and engage with every single person who wants to start a fucking internet debate with you. CITATION NEEDED! First off, that's a little arrogant to think that just because someone, you know, puts their self online, it's their obligation to listen to you and argue with you until the fucking ends of the earth. Because a lot of these people will argue until the ends of the earth and like no one's mind is getting changed and I don't really see the point of it. I don't really get it. Like, I don't exist in my everyday life just constantly ready to get into a fucking, like, Twitter fight. See earlier comments. You do not have debates on Twitter or IRC. You have them on YouTube, forums, mailing lists, and news groups. Because I'm a person. I say CITATION NEEDED! And... It's just not how I function. Screw loose. I just want to let you in on a little secret. Women online don't owe you shit. No way! Whether or not I ch Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Go fuck yourself!